guys, Leanne Winston here. I hope you guys have had a lovely day and stayed nice and cool. So welcome to Wednesday night broadcast. I'm just waiting for the broadcast to kick in, watch people come online. Um, so today I have put a guest link in in the comments as above the picture so if you would like to join me live here on screen all you will need is a device that has google play on it um, if you're on a mobile app a mobile phone the app will need to be loaded to your phone but by clicking on the guest link you will be able to come in on live with that download the link and then sort of come through as well with that so hey guys i can see you all coming online um so we've got jade saying hello hey hun hope you're well uh we also had Katty Kat, katia sorry honey if i've said your name wrong i am hopeless for pronunciations lately i don't know what it is but uh, I am well, thank you. So, and then we've got Rachel. Uh, yes, honey, I got yes to that straight away. So just really quickly, I will answer that before we jump into uh, questions with that side of it. So, guys, I do ask you to hit the share button. Invite your friends and your family to join in as well. Have them like my page if they haven't already done so. Um, we will see how we'll go tonight because we've just had a little bit of rain here, a few drops it has come in very overcast and looks a little bit stormy so I have heard a few rumbles of thunder in the distance as well so hopefully we don't get uh, too much of a storm in the internet the power won't be affected I'm putting it out to the universe to get us through to 9 30 then I can sit and relax and watch a, a good storm as I do like a good storm and Mother Earth doing her things. So, hey, Yvonne, I hope you're well and you have called off, honey. I just, I literally just stuck my hand out the door behind me to when I let the cat and the dog back in because they were complaining of the rain. And it is still really warm out there. It actually feels like it's got a little bit hotter so um uh, than what it was about half an hour three quarters of an hour ago when i was out there so um gotta love summer the different conditions that we're getting don't forget to share with me where you're from um so you know in your comments or even just uh hashtag where you're from um as well let me know where we're getting out as well and it's lovely to see some regular names on here and this actually looks like there's some new names as well so welcome to those new followers on my page as well so tonight i will get in and answer some questions if somebody wants to hit the guest link that is in the information above um you can certainly come online with me and ask me a question but you have to be ready or realize that you are going on screen with me people can see you it doesn't matter if you're in your pajamas i do not mind so um i do look forward to maybe connecting with somebody uh, and one or two people live in that way so we've got jade from adelaide beautiful katina is from melbourne um so so the the thing has just moved um so yeah so please feel free to join in with that as well Okay, just one thing, guys. Also, if you'd like to ask a question, I do please ask for you to do more of a direct question so I can actually get to more of you because at, at the end of the night, we usually have quite a like a, at least three or four hundred comments. Um, and you know, if I can get to more of you, that would be really good. Kayleen is from Tasmania as well, so good old Tassie. Actually, got a few followers over you your way honey and I would love to come your way maybe sometime this year and do a live show or something like that guys if you are watching on my Leanne Winston Psychic Medium page please jump over to the My Time TV link that is above the picture as well where the broadcast is now being shown on my page and um, jump over to My Time TV You'll find my post where I am here live now, currently, being Wednesday night at 8.30 until 9.30. And like the My Time TV um, page as well, because for my show to be able to go onto the Binge Network that goes worldwide, and for those that don't know Binge, it's like a Netflix type setup. So really, they are in competition with Netflix, with what I can understand. 
Um, so I do have to broadcast my lives through the my time tv which then gets uploaded to the binge network so please do know that your comments are going like onto the binge tv network as well uh, in these shows so if you come on live with me you will notice that uh, if you google binge and my or my name or my time tv channel you will find yourself on on there as well with that okay so we've got some questions coming through um so i'll just scroll back to the start um so rachel i did say yes to yours honey uh jade hope I uh, hope you see something for me. Hun, if you can answer, ask more of a direct question, that would be really good as well, please. Uh, Helen says, hi, Leanne, do you see my son marrying and starting a family with his current partner? Yes, I do, honey. I do feel that. Um, I don't feel like he's in a real hurry, though. So to me, I sort of get the feeling he may take his time around that a little bit. Okay. Um, Katia, Katia, sorry, honey. I've got to apologise if I'm saying it wrong. What do you see from me this year? We'd love to hear. Honey, if you could maybe ask a more direct question, that would be good. You may have done it a little bit further up, but I do feel... There is positive energy and changes coming in around you as well. Oh, my God, that cat is driving me nuts. When I go live, he needs to uh, carry on like a pork chop. So I'm not going to open the door and leave it open because last night I got uh, eaten alive by mosquitoes <laughs> with that sign. So uh, Jennifer says, hi, Leanne. Is my friend finally at peace in the, the spirit life? Oh, honey. Oh, yes, I do. I get the very much yes. I just feel like I need to stop and breathe around that as well. But I do get very much a beautiful energy with that. So, Dobby, off you go. You want to come? Come on. We'll see if he'll come and say hello. I know a couple of people asked last night if they could see him, but I didn't see the comments until after. Dob, Betty. He's a cat with a complex. My husband calls him Betty, even though it's a girl. Um, come on, come on, Dob. Even though it's a boy, I mean, not a girl. Dob, come on, come on. No, no, he wants to play. He wants to run. All good. Um, so yes, darling, I do feel. Um, I don't know if your friend would call you darling, honey, but all of a sudden I just had the need, Jennifer, to call you darling. With that, so I do feel very much at peace um, with that energy. Uh, Lauren says, my brother's wife is pregnant. Is it his baby and what will the gender be? Yes, I actually feel sick around that. I'm not too sure what's going on there, but I feel sick around that. So whether your brother's a little bit torn at the moment or you're feeling sick about it, I get the reference, yes, and I get a little boy with that. So I feel like I need to put the blue colour around him as well with that, okay? Um, so uh, I'm going to open the door. Gotta love animals. Animals and children when you're trying to work. <laughs> he's lucky he's so damn cute. That's all I can say. He is gorgeous, but he is a very spoiled cat that uh, kind of does run royal um, run the house, rule the house a lot lately. And the kids have made him into be a bit of a silk. So um Alicia, hello. Is it my um is it my brother or nephew trying to tell me something? I actually feel brother, honey. I'm drawn to the brother, but I wouldn't be surprised if they are both there together with that um, side of it as well. I always say to people, trust your first instincts, okay? So if something pops in your head, if you feel that it's your brother or if you feel that it's your nephew, that's who it is. So I wouldn't be surprised maybe if they do both try to contact you because I feel your brother is more stronger around you. But I, I get the reference to um, what, like listening and trusting your instincts with that side of it. Wonderful. We can see Tracy coming in too. Um, ah! <laughs> and so into the thing, uh, into the lobby. So I will bring Tracy up and say hello. No. 
Hang on, you're counting up. Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I am been, good. Oh, I've been trying so long to try to make that work and I'm sitting on the toilet. So hi everyone. <laughs> I was life, going so. to say, are you hiding in the bathroom? Oh. Happy. <laughs> I love oh, it. Moving out for dinner yeah. and literally got home and I listened to your broadcast in the car, which is a bit naughty, so don't tell anyone I did that. Oh, everyone I won't. Listening. I promise. <laughs> Happy New Year, you, hun. I oh, am good. You, you. Lady. Did you have a lovely Christmas? Yeah. I actually had time off for the first time in... Good girl. Three years. So, yeah, we went and stayed in a little yeah. beach shack and spent time with the family. It was great. <sighs> Lovely. So, yeah. That sounds amazing. Just what you needed. Some time yeah, no off. No one else in the lobby. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else is in the lobby. <laughs> oh, is anyone else in the toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Anybody would like to answer that? Oh, they certainly can oh, let no. us know. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So, did you have a question you would like to ask, honey? Oh, gosh, there's so many. What about, <laughs> okay, so I am ex having some stresses at work at the moment. So, yep. should I say, do I stay or do I go? What what comes to you? First of all, I've got stay. I think things will calm down, sort of thing. So I want to say, give it a couple of months. I'm drawing around March. Things will really start to settle down. So mm -hmm. um, it's. I want to say there's just a lot of unsettled energy around work in general, sort yeah. of thing. So mm -hmm. I think as people get back into routines and whatnot, that will start to settle down. So March okay. will be a very different scenario is the feeling I get with that. So hang in there, hey? Yep. Hang in there. You're tough. <laughs> oh, resilient. You got that. Resilient, resilient. That's it. That yeah. too. <laughs> so, to yeah. To yeah. Mm. And it's hard sometimes not to get in our own head, but I do feel that things will settle with that side of it. Yeah. So, you know what? You've just nailed it because that's exactly what's going on. I'm doing a whole lot of assumption yeah. and I probably should not. There's probably something much yeah. going on. That not even related to me and my team so yeah just yeah. watch the old habits don't come in because I think a lot of what the universe is trying to do to us lately is bring back a lot of those old habits the old structures mm -hmm. which this year's energy isn't going to work with that sort of thing so we need to when the old habits and the old structure come up I think we just need to acknowledge it give gratitude and let it go and then just go with the flow sort of thing because we will allow that energy to flow a lot easier sort of thing because we've got an overlapping energy at the moment. We usually do coming out of the year, the end of the year into the next. So I usually say December, January is very much an overlapping energy sort of thing each year. So then we get that little bit of more calmness, that direction coming in. Well, my mantra is be grateful and be kind. So... That's what we're yep, moving perfect. with, so we'll see how we go. Yep, that's it. And that's much more of a loving, light energy this year. So I think you find mantras like that will work perfectly. Yeah. So just All breathe right. and allow. Thank you, darling. You're so gorgeous. I don't need to come and see you. You're so welcome. So you. I, can't right, I look forward to having that. a hug. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful. And why are you hiding in the toilet? get out <laughs> i love it <laughs> beautiful huh All right, <laughs> we will Love leave you. you in peace thank you for joining in yeah. <laughs> bye bye hun see you bye thank you see you hun bye, bye. Oh, I love it. She is so gorgeous. Tracy is amazing. And so, guys, um, it's that easy. Whether you want to be laying in bed or sitting on the toilet, that is fine. So, um, hey, it's technology. We can go anywhere. So, guys, if you'd like to join in and ask a question just like Tracy did, please feel free to jump on the, the guest link in the um, the comments above where I am, where you are seeing me live at the moment and it will bring you through into that. Let's just hope she doesn't tilt the camera through because I can still see her in the lobby until she closes the app. <laughs> I think you just need to close the app, honey. 
<laughs> Beautiful. You won't be able to see her. Only I can. That's all good. So we have Kayleen from Tasmania um, as well. So welcome, honey. I think I did acknowledge you um, just before. And so Erica says, hi, Leanne, I recently lost someone close to me and I was wondering if he knew how special he was to me and did he know him? All right, beautiful, honey. I'm so sorry for your loss as well. I do feel that he knew um, because for some reason I feel like he would give you a bit of a look sort of thing. So whether you would give, you would find himself giving you that little bit of a glance at times, for some reason I'm drawn around the eye. So whether he would sort of wink a little bit at you um i just get the reference to yes honey there was a little bit of a cheeky energy with him as well so i do love his energy a very loving a very warm gentleman with that okay so i wish you all the very best with that as well and i want to say also just close your eyes at times breathe and allow yourself to feel his energy around you okay because i do i feel he had a very big heart at the same time all right um hey robin i hope you're well honey enjoying that beautiful beach near you today would have been a perfect day to be down there so hopefully you were able to get some time for yourself robin just says hi leanne how are you can you see what month i'll fall pregnant this year will my health improve yeah honey, i'm gonna say focus on the getting the health right and the pregnancy side of it will come. I do feel there's a little bit of an imbalance in your, your body at the moment. Um, I just get the reference to when you can get that balance sorted. I'm going to say like a chemical imbalance for some reason. So I'm going to say look at your diet, the food that you're eating, because I do feel that it's through the intake. So I want to say look at your greens, your fishes, um, your hormone foods, that side of it, and that will help. Um, to strengthen the pregnancy side. I do feel pregnant this year. Um, okay. So I'm drawn to September, October being very strong around you, honey. All right. So I'm going to say take this time now and to get that balance into your body. I don't know if you need to speak up at the moment or you're feeling a little blocked around the throat chakra, but I just get the reference to looking at the energy that is sitting there as well at the moment sort of thing. So when you can move that, I think things will flow really well as well. Okay. Um, <laughs> just sorry Robin I've just seen your next comment a couple up you you love watching it's like an addiction oh honey I love to see you on here as well so we do have Jess coming into the lobby at the moment so we might just while she's coming up uh, or loading in I'll be with you in a second Jess um, I will just answer this Oh, Kayleen says, I would definitely come to a live show. Oh, honey, that is lovely of you. I'd love to see you. And if you do get the chance to come to a live show, please, guys, come up and say hello because I like to, you know, get to put faces and names together as well. So Kayleen just says, do you see a new relationship for me? Yes, I feel October is very strong around you too, honey. So I want to say later in the year with that side of it, okay? So take some time for you breathe get to know you again is the feeling so i'm going to stay bringing in that balance with that all right so i wish you all the very best with that honey okay jess i'll just catch you up into the lobby hun so just while we wait for jess to come in don't forget to hit the share button and invite your friends and family to join in hey hun how are you going i'm good how are you yeah really well thank you how are you handling this heat oh it's horrible <laughs> <laughs> it is a little bit it's a bit crazy i'm looking forward to the change coming in I know, so too. yeah so whereabouts are you from hun uh adelaide so oh beautiful here, I, adelaide. down the hill near, near the beach. <laughs> <laughs> oh half your luck i yeah. i could have so easily gone to the beach tonight but i'm thinking that could be tomorrow night's job before <laughs> the the change comes in there's probably a million people down there tonight yeah, so probably. You're probably right, yeah. Yeah. And did you have a question you'd like to ask, honey? Yes, I do. Um, I sort of know if there's any messages from any people that have passed on. Okay. Would I be right in saying a grandmother that has passed over? Yes. 
okay i feel she's very similar to you in ways okay so i don't know if there's times that you feel like somebody's standing behind you and you look over your shoulder but she just shows me her standing behind you quite quite a lot lately so would i be right in saying you've been going through a lot of changes in yourself lately yeah i'm trying to exercise and be healthy <laughs> Yeah, beautiful, because she just shows me that she's proud of the changes that you're going through and that focus that you have. I want to say as much, and if you're like me, it's hard to get started, but I do feel that you've got that direction this time. So to me, it's the feeling the focus is there. I want to yeah. say when you need it, she's going to give you that push. So would I be right in saying in her subtle ways when she was here, she could give you that push in the right direction when you needed it? Yeah. Okay, because she's still doing that from spirit, all right? I get the hand on the heart, which is my sign for love and pride for yourself. So I do feel there is a lot of love and a lot of pride that does come through from her. Would I be right in saying she could talk a lot as well, but softly spoken? Yes. Okay, <laughs> because I feel like her mouth is going a million miles an hour. So yes. it's like she's got a lot to say in a Definitely. very short time period as well. But yes. she does acknowledge that she is around you a lot in that sense. Now, would I be right in saying mum's going through some changes at the moment too? Yes. Okay. I just feel like mum needs to be watching her health at the moment. I'm not getting warning bells go off about that, but I do feel like it's more about maintaining her health. Okay. Yep. Mum holds things close to her chest, doesn't she? She doesn't like yeah. to communicate as much. Yeah. Okay. Sort of push it out of her. <laughs> Yeah, okay. So whether she's sort of doing that again at the moment, I'm going to say again, so whether she did it just before Christmas and she's now doing it again, I just get the reference to look at how mum's holding things close to the chest. I don't feel like it's anything major, but I do feel that mum's in her own head about it um, at the moment currently sort of thing with that. How would you put the number seven around your grandmother or for yourself? I actually think I want to go both. I'm pretty sure that's... Uh, is that, I think I, no, that's my daughter's birthday. Okay. All right. Um, would I be right in saying there's a bit of a, a, a mature, I can't even say the word, maturity to your daughter just recently, the change yeah, you've seen her grow? Is, she is very smart and very, yes, yeah, it's an actor, age, that's for sure. <laughs> Yeah, okay, because I do get that very active energy around her as well with that, yeah. and your grandmother wants to acknowledge her. Now, would I be right in saying there's a meaning to her name, so whether she was named after somebody yeah. or she's that got, name really stuck? She's got Teresa, yeah. which is my nana's name. Ah, uh, beautiful, because she just wants to acknowledge your daughter's name, all right? Yeah. I get a very loving soul with your daughter too. So to me, it's the feeling that she likes her cuddles. She's very affectionate. But when yeah. she's focused on something, she is very focus, focused and determined as well with that side of it. I want to say she goes a million miles now because your daughter's, with your daughter's energy, I feel like her head is racing constantly. <laughs> and it's like she knows what she wants to say, but the mouth doesn't want to work in the way that the head is in that sense all right yeah. i do feel as your daughter gets older your grandmother says she will calm down a little bit okay oh, and your grandmother gave me the beautiful smile when she said that with a little <laughs> giggle in that sense hello <laughs> your grandmother just said she's gorgeous <laughs> so she knows we're talking about her <laughs> so okay now what would be the meaning of the stars for you hold on bella sorry what was that what would be the meaning of the stars for you? So I don't know if I want to look up at the stars or I'm seeing a star. Mama. 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 Sometimes I look up at the stars to do with Nana. So you think about her, you you um, yeah. reflect. Okay, Mama. because she just says, I connect Mama. through the stars. Mama. All right. Mama. Mama. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Believe me, if it's not children, it's cats. It's been two nights in a row for me with a cat. <laughs> what is it for like? I love it. Now, I don't know what's happened to your screen, but you have a real reflection across you. Could you see that? Yes. Yeah. It's possibly it was just the light, but your grandmother drew me to it. 
<laughs> All right. So, but your grandmother just acknowledges the fact that she connects with you through the stars. So I want to say know when you are out there reflecting at the stars, your grandmother's soul is very much around you at that time. Okay. All right. So can I leave her with your, oh, you're very welcome, honey, but can I leave you with her love, please, and know that she is very much around you? Thank you. Mama. All right. You're welcome. welcome. You enjoy the night, and can you please give her a big hug for, to the children for her? I will. Hey, can I ask, are you planning another child? No, but people keep telling me that I think I've asked you previously and you've said that, um, I'd have another baby, but I'm not planning on having another baby. <laughs> if you're not planning, be careful because all I'm of a sudden planning. she wanted to put another child or she's pushing the child on you. I've got the arm bar in at the moment, so I'm not planning on taking it out. So hopefully it <laughs> continues to work. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. But all of a sudden she's pushing the child. She wants another child. <laughs> <laughs> would, I, would I be right? She liked a big family. She liked having the little ones around. She passed away before my daughter was born, so she didn't get the opportunity yeah. to have grandkids, but she always loved having family around, yeah. Yeah, because she just makes me feel like she'd love to have the family, the bigger the better. So yeah. I think the more kids running around, the better. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. All right, hun. I will leave you with that. You're very welcome. Enjoy the night and try to stay cool. You too. Have a good night. All right. Thanks, hun. Bye. Bye. Oh, beautiful. I love the energy of children. I love the way our grandparents will acknowledge children at times as well. So we've also got Charmaine in the um, lobby as well. I love the way you guys are finding the link tonight. Excellent. So, honey, it's just counting you out. How are you going, hon? Good. That's good. How's your day been? It's been good. Yeah? You managed to stay cool? What's that? You managed to stay nice and cool? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So whereabouts are you from? I'm from Canada. Oh, beautiful. Oh, so you guys are actually cool over there. you got yeah. winter at the moment, don't you? Here in Australia, we've got like 40, 45 degree heat. Oh, so it oh. is. Well, you're lucky. We could do with some of that cool air that you guys have got over we, there. We can do some some warm. <laughs> yeah, we'll meet you in the middle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Now, did you have a question you would like to ask, honey? Um, no, I don't have any particular question. I just thought I would try. Okay, excellent. But can can I ask, would, would I be right in saying you've been going through a few changes yourself or you're wanting more at the moment? I've been going through a lot of changes. I'm just, I'm just hoping for some positive new things coming up. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. My feeling is when you allow that energy just to move, the opportunities are going to get put in front of you. But I do want to put study books in front of you. So I want to say with change, it's going to bring a small level of study, but it's got a lot of growth around it at the same time. But like I said, if you just allow those that energy to move, it's going to flow nicely and that will be put in front of you not too far away. For some reason, I feel like there's things that are around you that are quite important around the end of February, okay, with that side of it. Whose birthday is also coming up? Um, I have a few family, but nothing, no one that can, I can remember right now. Oh, my, coming up for this month is my dad. Uh, Okay, and where would the J, J name be? J name? I actually feel like I've got Josh. I don't hear names very often, but I was hearing Josh or uh, Joseph. I think it was more with uh, Josh. Oh, no. I'm not sure okay, just keep that, mind, that name in mind moving forward. For some reason, I want to put the J name, the strong J name. It's sort of got that that S sort of sound to it in the name with that. So um, Josh or Joseph sort of thing. Okay. I feel like I'm focusing on the S in the name itself, but it's starting with a J. I don't know what the, the significance is to that, but I just feel that comes in around change in February, okay? So I don't feel like I'm looking at relationship or anything like that. I just feel like I'm putting this person in front of you, whether it's based around work or direction. I just feel like it's a... a and somebody that you will 
um, become, I don't want to say romantically involved with, but close with sort of thing in that side of it, okay? What would be the going back and forth for you at the moment as well? Back and forth? Yeah. So I feel like I'm doing the same thing back and forth. So whether it's going home yeah. to work, back and constantly just that and the, the focus is back and forth on the travel or you're feeling yeah. like you're doing that a lot lately. I just feel yeah. that it's going to change a little bit very shortly with that side of it. So I do feel that you are getting a little bit tired with that back and forth, so to speak, with that as well. Yeah. Yeah. All right, excellent. Um, would I be right in saying you have a grandmother passed over as well? Mm -hmm. Okay, because I've got her coming in with a beautiful smile behind you. I don't know why the grandmothers are wanting to come in behind you guys on the screen today, but oh. I just get the reference to the soft voice with her. Now, would I be right in saying she was very softly spoken? Yes. Okay, I feel like I just want to cook with her. So whether she was very good in the kitchen or would focus very much around preparing the food all the time, I just get the reference to there's a vast, a vast range of different meals that she would uh, would cook with that side of it as well, okay? Yeah. She wants to put the hot chocolate in front of you. So whether you like to sit in the cold with the hot chocolate, I just get her the reference to when sitting there with the hot drink, she is very much there. She hears you. I want to say your thought process she hears you sort of talking so would I be right in saying you run through things in your head like you're talking to yourself yeah okay because she says she answers you at times so whether that you ask yourself questions and I feel like I'm asking you questions tonight so I want to say that you are somebody that would normally ask questions if you don't understand or you need to know more sort of things so I just get the reference to look at the questions and when you're asking yourself that question in your head she is answering it for you and she gives you the beautiful big smile with that as well now would I be right in saying you use your hands a lot to talk I do. at times I do. yeah because the whole time I'm connected with you I'm sitting here waving my hand around like I'm explaining with my hand <laughs> in that sense all right yeah. so um that's her way of letting you know that she's very much around you I want to say just clear your mind feel her energy and you you will feel that she's there okay she'll show you she'll give you the signs oh, okay, okay? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining in. And I love the fact Thank that you're you. all the way from Canada. And yeah. we will send some sunshine your way if it was that That'd easy. Be great. <laughs> Beautiful hand. Take care. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. I love the way that technology doesn't stop us from going anywhere. So thank you um, for joining in. We've also got Sarah in the lobby. So Sarah, I'll count you up, up honey. And um Excellent. Hey, hun, how are you going? I'm good. How are you? That's good. Really well. Thank you. So you're cooking too? <laughs> yeah, it's just started to rain. Yeah, yeah. We've had it off and on for about probably 20 minutes, I reckon, but it's okay, it seems to... <laughs> yeah, so down. we're... <laughs> yeah, so are you Murray Bridge? Strath. Strath, uh, okay, yep, yeah. off to the side a little bit because it yeah. seems to be going over that way. Earlier on when we had the wind, I was talking to a lady in Manham and probably 15 minutes when it's, after it stopped here, went dead calm, she got the dust storm in Manham. So, <laughs> so it's a bit of everything tonight. I'm waiting for the lightning and the thunder to start back up. So yeah. excellent. Did you have a question, hun, you'd like to ask? Um. Yeah, I'm just wondering whether I will get full-time work um, and if so, is it in either of the two jobs I'm doing now or? Okay, yes to full-time work. Yeah. Would I be right in saying there's one job that you feel like you've got one foot in the door and one foot out? Yep. Okay, because I want to let that job go is the reference okay. I get. But it's yeah. the feeling that will you will let that go more so around having the full-time hours, okay? Yeah. I actually feel like I want to say look around March for full-time sort of yeah. thing. So whether um, how would Christmas affect your work in what you're doing? Because um, I feel like I've got the energy needs to settle back down. Yeah, so, um, well, I'm working at Woolworths with one of them. Um, so that's, you know, it's it's not enough, yeah. but 
Um, yeah. And then I've just I'm temping at another place, which I'm really enjoying. So, and that's only casual, but yeah. Yeah. Okay, because I just get the reference to look at how things are going to settle down after the Christmas, yeah. so whether you sort of go through a bit of a, a high and a low through the Christmas period and then it sort of settles off. I just feel yeah. like I'm looking at March when I've got things sort of falling more into place with that. Now, would I be yeah. right in saying you've got a grandfather figure in spirit? Yes. Okay. You get the tickle to the nose at times lately? Yes. Okay, because he's when I was trying to explain about the work side of it, he kept tickling my nose to get my yeah. attention. So I want to say he does that to let you know that he's very much around you. Okay. So I want to say when he's doing that also, look at what is going on in your life at that time because yeah. I just get the reference to that's why he's trying to get your attention. So when you do that, trust what you feel, what you yeah. think, what you see, what you hear. Okay. okay, so yeah. um, he's just letting you know at the moment he's around there a lot lately. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right, honey, you are very welcome and thank you for joining in. It's lovely to have faces on the screen with me <laughs> as well. So wonderful. Well, you take care, stay cool and um, enjoy the rest of your week. I will, you too. All right, thank you, honey. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Excellent. Oh, we've also got Joanne up in the uh, lobby, so I'll bring Joanne up. So, honey, you should be able to, well, you can hear me now, but we can hear you. Hi, hey, hon, how are you going? I'm good. How are you? That's good. I'm really well. That's good. Yeah. Sorry, How's your I'm day been? I'm sitting in the caravan at Farmer in my bathers. <laughs> Beautiful. You would have been roasting up there. Yes, we have been, but, yeah, keep calling the call. Yeah, that's the way to do it. I've got a girlfriend over in Albury at the moment. I rang her today and she does not like swimming and she's been in the pool every night this week <laughs> sort of thing. So I'm like, yep, the heat's got the wet, the better of her at the moment. So I think she'll be pleased to get back home. <laughs> so, yeah, so how long are you in Barmer for? Uh, we've been here a week and we leave on Sunday. Oh, lovely, and you're enjoying it? Yeah, having a great time. Got the kids around so it's, and the grandkids. It's been beautiful. Oh, beautiful, excellent. I haven't been to Barmer for a long time, so <laughs> excellent. And what was your question you'd like to ask, honey? Um, how do you – I've got two. Um, will my daughter, um, my eldest daughter, have a daughter? You know, will she have any girls? And also my son, what do you see for my son in 2019? Okay. I get yes to your daughter having a daughter of her own. I do feel that is something that she really wants in that side yeah. of it. Um, for some reason, I hate when spirit does this. For some reason, I, I've got to say, if she knows when she's ovulating, do it two days earlier, okay? Um, I think it'll because be IVF, maybe. Uh, okay, yep. So whether huh, can they choose? I don't think we can choose sex um, side of things here yet, can we? I don't think so. I think that's the problem. No. I think we need to go more to America for that sort of side of it as well. So um, maybe hold on to the sperm for two days and then hand <laughs> it over. <laughs> Apparently females swim longer and slower where males swim okay. faster and die off. So that's why Spirit always tells me two days beforehand <laughs> sort of thing. So, um, yes, I do feel that she'll get her girl. Um, put her, ask her, get her to ask her guides to give her okay. that little baby girl, all right, and if thank them. Give them. Yeah, give them permission to go ahead and do that for for her and to, I always Hi. thank them at the same time with that. Now, yeah. your son, would I be right in saying he's frustrating a little bit lately? Yeah, I think so. Okay, because I just get that frustrating, <laughs> cheeky energy with him with that. I, I feel like he puts the walls up around his heart at the moment, so whether he's scared of being hurt or he's still holding yeah. on to the hurt from prior sort of thing. So I want to say it's it's important for him to let the walls down and allow that beautiful light to shine through. Um, and when he opens his heart up, sorry? I said, Hayden, are you listening? <laughs> 
<laughs> so when he lets those walls down, lets that beautiful light shine through, the right person will be put in front of him. I feel like he's matured more this time since the last relationship. So you may have noticed a change in him where I think that's going to bring the right person in for him this time. Okay. okay. Would I would I be right in saying he lacks a little bit of self-confidence around the love side of things? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Because I'm going to say he just needs to be himself because he's beautiful the way he is and the right person will see through, like see that in him, all right? So I'm going to say he just needs to be him. Okay. So you think coming in with an issue? Yeah, I do. I really think he's ready for it sort of thing. Yeah, I, I want to say he's been a little bit sluggish in the past, but it's going to give him that push that he needs, but it will be somebody that will support him well. So oh, I just good. feel so like when, a good balance when, in a relationship. When do you see that happening? I want to say before June. Ooh, wow, okay. So I want to say um, I'm leaning more around March to June sort of time period with that. So I would say to him at the moment, do the work on yourself, find you, know what it is that you want in life, and that will come in when he least expects it. Oh, great. Okay. Does it, what is it with his smile? I just go, he's got a gorgeous smile. Yeah, he's blushing he has, in he's me. Cheeky. Yeah, he's a bit cheeky. <laughs> okay. I wouldn't be surprised if he blushes with that comment. Oh, I can bit. just see him. I can see him in his lounge room listening to this. Shaking his head and <laughs> thanks, mom. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So <laughs> you probably get a phone call shortly. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> That's gorgeous. All right, honey. Well, thank you so much thank for you. joining in. I'm pleased you guys are having a wonderful time there in Barmara. Thank you so much. All right. You're very welcome, honey. Take care and have a safe trip. <laughs> thank okay. you. Bye. Bye. Beautiful. Hello. All right. We have Bernadette in the lobby as well. So we were just bringing you up, hun. While we're doing that, I'll just have a mouthful of water. How are you going, hun? Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Have you got Mike? Hello, Bernadette. <laughs> I'm not sure that she can see me. All right. We might just drop Bernadette back in, down, and I might just try to bring her back up once more. No, nope, I don't want to block her. And just see if it works this time. Honey, it will count you up. Hello. How are you going, Bernadette? <laughs> I'm not sure if she can see me. Hey, hun. Can you see me or hear me? No? Yes? Okay. I'm not too sure what's going on there with Bernadette's uh, sound, so it sounds like she may. I can hear background uh, noises, but maybe she can't hear me. All right. So we'll just drop her back down. Bernadette, honey, if you can hear me when you're in the lobby, give me the thumbs up. Um, but I think you find there is a problem with you, um, you hearing me by the look of that side of it. So we'll just hopefully uh, Bernadette will be able to push the right button, find that setting that she needs with that, okay? Um, so we've got Jennifer. We'll read Jennifer's comment. In 2009, I lost a friend in a tragic car accident and he's been on my mind lately a lot and I want to know if he is at rest and was able to rest and pass over after the uh, after life was cut short okay honey i i want to say yes to that now there is a reason why he's been on your mind lately and i want to say it's coming out of nowhere so it's not like you're intentionally thinking about him it's just the feeling that he is popping into your mind that is his soul with you at that time, okay? So I do feel that he is very much at peace, very um, very much at ease, and that transition was reasonably smooth for him as well. I also feel that he lived a pretty full life in the time that he was here, even though it was cut short, all right? And I do feel that he has connected with you through your dreams in the past as well. So I want to say look at the dreams in that way. But just try bringing Bernadette up once more. She 
has jumped out and jumped back in. Hey, honey, can you hear me now? Yes, I can. Ah, beautiful. We have sound. Excellent. <laughs> Gotta love technology. <laughs> oh, me and technology don't work. My daughter's been messaging me while I'm trying to do this. Oh, so okay. I'm trying to do it and she's trying to tell me how to do it and it's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it probably harder in a sense, but yeah, yeah, I just put everything under the technology catalog these days. If it runs on power, it's called technology. That's right. I, so, I, yeah, I don't do technology. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. How's your day been? Oh, busy, busy. No, busy but good. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Hot. So it is a little bit. And whereabouts are you from? Oh, just in Adelaide um, at the um, North Haven area. Oh, beautiful, closer to the water. So have you got a bit of a change coming in down there yet, a bit of a breeze? Um, we did have a breeze coming through, but it's not, it hasn't really cooled it down that much. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's still a bit crazy out there, isn't it? So, yeah. But 10 o'clock tomorrow night, they reckon? <laughs> that's, that's what they say. So you'll yeah. be right. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and what was your question, hun, you'd like to ask? I think my main question is I just wanted to know um, how – Mum is, I think, um, more than anything. Okay. What was the throat issue for her, honey? The throat, um, the chest. For mum? Yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm not too sure on that one. Okay. Was she not able to communicate or say those things that she needed to say? Oh, uh, I don't know. Like, oh, I'm not, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm, I used to talk a lot, like just about every day. Yep. Um, yep. But um, I think, um, I don't know if closer to, I think because I actually missed the passing of mum. Like okay. my sister okay. rang me and I had to get on an aeroplane by the time I got there. I think mum was already gone. Yeah, okay. So I do, like at the moment I started to connect to your mum's energy, I kind of felt choked up in the throat and all of a sudden it's like I needed to drink to try and wash it down sort of thing with that side of it. Would I be right in saying you would play with mum's hair or she will play in your hair at times? Oh, no, I used to brush so mum's hair and stuff, yeah. Okay, because all of a sudden she made me feel like I had to be running my, like pulling down on my hair sort of thing, so the playing. So I want to say that's her acknowledging those memories with you doing that. I kind of feel like mum had things that she missed out on saying to you before her passing in that sense, but I do feel that she has found ways to communicate with you after her passing. So would oh, I be right in saying you've had dreams of her? No, see, that's just it. I Like I don't... I almost, like, feel like I'm forgetting her. Yeah, okay. I actually feel that she connects with you in a dream state. So your soul and her soul connect while you're asleep. So you may not remember what has actually happened in those dreams or in that deep sleep, but it's the feeling that on that soul level you've got what you've needed to out of that, okay? Would I be right in saying there's times that you will have memories of your mum that just pops in out of nowhere or something you will do will remind you of your mum? Oh, yeah, yeah. There's things that I yeah. do that do remind yeah. me of mum. Beautiful. So know when that happens and that memory of mum comes in, that is her soul with you at that very time, okay? As time goes on, it's it may seem like you're not connecting with her in, or um, you're, like you said, for, sort of feel like you're forgetting her in a way. It's kind of like our healing gets to a certain stage. We find peace within that and we will connect with their energy differently. Sometimes spirit will set back and give us a little bit of room to heal at times if they feel that's what we need but I do feel that she is still very much around you and she is giving you those memories so I want to say that is her letting you know that she's with you in that way because she's putting those thought process there to to go well oh that was like mum would do that or you know that sounded like mum or that'd be something mum would say sort of thing so I do feel that she's very much around you but she's just communicating with you in a different way 
Okay. okay. Yeah. Spirit find their own ways to do it, and I think they put us before themselves in in a sense, in that yep. way. So for me, um, I like my grandmother's been gone over twenty years, and I will still get emotional at the thought of her, or if I I sense her energy, sort of thing. So I think she gives me a little bit of space, and she will come through other people to get me the messages, which I don't feel so emotional about when it does that, when she does it that way and sort of thing. Oh, so, agree. yeah, all right. So um, what would be the paperwork that you're working with at the moment? The paperwork? I get look at the paperwork. Um, I'm actually it probably, yeah, I don't know if that would relate to me or not because I don't deal with paperwork, obviously because of something that happened to me when I was younger. Okay. So, yep. yeah, if, if anything's so, paperwork, it goes to my daughter or my husband. Okay. So what is the paperwork they're looking at at the moment? Oh, Jess might be looking at something relating to Isabella. Okay. Maybe. Because your mum just wants to put the paperwork in front of you guys and I get the reference to look at the paperwork. So, Jess, if that makes sense to you, just take note of what the paperwork is that um, is there at the moment and I just get the reference to what needs to will will stick out for her. Okay. Yeah, oh, okay. She'll, yep. she'll get her attention. The paperwork will get her attention. She'll know what your mum is talking about with that. All right. Oh, okay. Yep. Excellent. All right, honey. Well, thank you so much for joining in with us. Thank you. You're very welcome and it's lovely to see you. Take care. Thank you very much. You're welcome, honey. Bye. Bye. Beautiful. Bye. Wow, we've got Rebecca also. So while I bring Rebecca up, I love it. I love um, having people on live and being able to talk to them. Hey, hon, how are you going? Good. How are you? That's good. Really good. Thank you. You had a good day too? I did. I had a day off work and my son's got his first uh, work interview tomorrow. So he's all excited. Oh. So we've got haircuts and clothes and stuff. Yeah, I'm sure he will rock it. <laughs> yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah. yeah. But I've been right in saying he's a little bit confident, quietly confident at the moment he, about it. He yeah, he is, I think. He has a grin on his yeah. face. So yeah. Yeah, he'll do well, I'm sure. And did yeah. you have a question you'd like to ask? Um, I do. I know it's a one that a lot of people ask. Um, it's more about relationships. Um, I separated from the kids' dad nearly two years ago now. And I just feel like I'm not going to get there in a relationship sense, if that makes sense. Um, it does. So, yeah, just wondering if you see anything that may come up for that. Yeah. Okay. Would I be right in saying you sort of put walls up around your heart a little bit as well? As much Very as you much. want to be in a relationship, a relationship scares you or meeting somebody new, going through that process again. All right, because I just get the reference to there is a little bit of a block there at the moment. So I want to say do work on you, finding you, be at peace with who you are and look at the strengths that you have got and come out of the other end with. So I want to say after the last relationship, you to me it's a feeling you have come out a lot stronger than what you went into that relationship. But I'd be right in saying you can be very determined when you want to be as well. Yes, very much so. <laughs> okay, because I just get the reference to when you focus on, on those things that you need to do for you, that is when somebody is going to be put in front of you when you least expect it. Now, I do feel that it's going to bring a relationship that you're not used of. So think being, um, I want to say being treated in a certain way that you haven't had in the past sort of thing. So would I be right in saying you kind of felt like you took that back step in the relationship last time? Yes, yep. Okay, because I want to put you on an even playing field this time coming into a relationship. Now, I do feel this is somebody new coming into your life, not somebody that you have already met with that side of it. I do feel like I need to put travel around this gentleman, so somebody that um, is will travel often or very much drawn around travel with that side of it, okay? Mm -hmm. You kind of like men a couple years older than you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't All like right. anyone that looks younger than me. I know that sounds strange, but if they are no, younger, it's fine. But if they look younger, then it's not fine. <laughs> okay, because I want to put around three to four years older than you. 
Okay. Okay. I want to say yeah. similar maturity sense, but I do mm -hmm. feel he's like similar maturity to yourself, but I do feel that he's three to four years older than you though. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Yep. And I see the number seven around that. So whether I'm with the seventh of a month or yep. the July, or there's a pattern in the seven around him. Okay. My birthday's in July, so maybe it'll be that month. Ah, maybe it'll be happy birthday to you. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> so yep. excellent. Yeah. Yep. All right. Well, so early happy birthday for July. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I want to say just take note of what catches your attention. It's not the feeling that you need to go out and make it happen or look for it. My feeling mm -hmm. is he's going to be put in front of you when you least expect it. All right. Fantastic. All Thank right. you so much for that. Excellent. You are very welcome. It's my pleasure, honey. It's lovely to see you. Thank you. You too. Uh, and have a good night. All right. You too. Thanks, Thanks hon. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wonderful. Uh, okay. I can't believe it's, you know, only five more minutes of the show to go. It's been crazy. I love having people on board like this. So, guys, I will get into the habit of posting the link more often. So just like the lovely ladies that we have had on tonight, if you want to join in um, in shows and with my shows, because at the moment I do have a few shows going on. Um, I am online on Tuesday mornings with the beautiful Roz for Tuesday Intuitive Chat with Leanna and Roz. You will find me online with the beautiful Yvonne to, um, on Tuesday nights with Psychics to You. Um, that's myself and Yvonne on her show. And uh, that will be every Tuesday night at 8.30. So Roz and I are set Tuesday mornings at 10.30. Uh, beautiful Yvonne and I are at 8.30 Tuesday nights. I will be live on Wednesday nights on my own at 8.30 and this is where I'd love to bring more guests in as well and connect with you guys face-to-face uh, -face with this. Just keep in mind these show, these um, these shows are going live to the Binge Network through the MyTimeTV.com. If you guys are watching on my page for these shows, you will need to jump over to the MyTimeTV.live and like the page, guys, too, so you get to know when people are coming online. I think you can actually hit um, on the post, I think there's the three dots that you can hit to get notifications of when we're going live. So when I do come live on any of the shows, it should give you a notification that I am online or about to come online with that as well. If you're finding you're on my psychic page, Leanne Winston Psychic Medium, and share, I'll put that uh, my email address up as well for you guys. Um, also, if you're commenting on there and you're finding you're not getting my attention, it just means you need to jump over to my time TV. Um, sorry, my time TV dot live and comment there to be able to have the post come up. I know I've missed a lot of your questions. Jennifer just says thank you um, with that. So does Alicia. Uh, you are very welcome, honey, um, to both of you. So it is very much my pleasure. Faye says hello. I'm just going through. Um, Sandra, hey, gorgeous. She just says, hi, Leanna. I look forward to seeing you, especially Wednesday nights. Oh, honey, you're gorgeous. Sending you a big hug because I think you need it at the moment, all right, and just feeling that. Okay, so um, Robin just says, beautiful, thank you. You're so true. Um, so true, much appreciated. My diet is out the window, but I am now seeing a dietitian and I start the gym this week. Beautiful, honey. Keep me updated on how you're going. I will get that Facebook um, workshop up and running too, hun. So I will be in touch with that very shortly as well, I think. I decided on a date. I just need to check that with the venue at the moment. All right. So, um, so hello to everybody that I've missed and... Yes, Faye, your back will get better, honey. It's just going to take time and patience is the reference I get there. So I want to say don't overdo things. Rest your back, hun. I know the back pain at the moment isn't good. Um, so, guys, thank you so much for joining in. So, guys, I do have a few things coming up at the moment. Um, you can – actually, I don't think I've updated it on my calendar for 2019 – as yet on my website, but I will do that very shortly. Um, I'm at on the 8th and 9th of February, I will be at the Gul Gulwer 
north of Adelaide. I always get the two mixed up, Gawler and Gawler. Gawler, um, north of Adelaide, race course doing the psychic fair on the 8th and the 9th. I am taking pre-bookings. There are some appointments already full, so there are some others, uh, some already booked in, sorry. So there are others. So if you would like to catch up with me at the fair um, to have a reading, please inbox me. We can set it. I can give you availabilities and book you in if you would like to do that so you don't run the risk of missing out on the weekend. Then I'm the following weekend. Uh, let me just check the dates with that because off the top of my head, I cannot remember. Um, would be the 16th and the 17th. I am doing the Miracles um, Psychic Fair in Wyala and there are bookings available for that as well. So if you'd like to pre-book in Wyala, my feeling is Wyala is going to be very flat out um, and I'm really looking forward to getting back over there as well. So please inbox me about that if you'd like to make a reading. And then on the 24th of February, I have my own expo that I am hosting in Murray Bridge as well. So if you're a stall holder and would like to do a stall, inbox me for details on that there is a limited amount of stalls I think we're about 80% sold out at the moment um, and that won't take long to book out now you don't necessarily have to be in psychic we do have some um, craft stalls we have clothing we have health well-being the psychics the healers that sort of side of it as well with that um, if anybody's got a crystal healing bed that might be worth maybe even uh, looking at having a stall with that something a bit different in the Murray Bridge area. All right, guys. Well, it has been my pleasure once again to connect with you guys on this hot, amazing Wednesday night. Um, it looks like we've got in before we may even hit a storm with that side of it. Um, so I was a little bit sort of uh, thinking, are we going to get the storm? Are we going to lose our power? Poor Yvonne lost her power last night, so she wasn't able to join me on the show. But I do look forward to doing that next week with her as well. And I may even try to come live on a Friday night um, with one of the beautiful other hosts that um, I work with as well. So we might sort of vary that on Friday nights. All right, guys, um, what have I forgotten? My website's up there on the screen. If you would like to make a booking for a reading, please click on my website. Go to, um, now what is it under? Go to services and you can book through into my calendar from there as well. And if you only just want a simple reading like a one question, I do offer those as well and they start from 30, readings start from $30 and go up from there as well. Please try not to inbox me personally your questions um, because my inbox does get pretty full with that side of it and I'm trying to work out on a couple of different workshops and advertising sort of things. And that's another thing, guys. If you would like to join me live on on a show like this promoting your business and come on screen and talk with me about your business I am running a thing at the moment you could do it a once off you could do it once a fortnight or you could do it once a week for a month sort of thing to promote your business if you've got a product or a service that you want to talk about and you want to share worldwide maybe have a you know a Facebook page or a um, website that people can connect with after seeing you live as well inbox me and tell me that you're interested in that I will give you some information. If you still want to go ahead from there, you and I can have a, a conversation on the phone about what your business is, how it will fit with this platform, and we can set up dates and times to do that. It doesn't have to be necessarily night times. It could be day times because when it goes onto My Time TV, it will be there to stay there. People can scroll through and look at it, and it will also go onto the Binge Network as well. So, guys, I'm going to say good night. Uh, stay cool, stay warm wherever you are. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Take care of yourself. Remember to check on the elderly and your pets in this heat as well. All right, guys, take care and I will see you very soon. Sending hug and, hugs and healing to those that need it. Okay, bye.